Welcome back to Dear Cyber Zoo Advice Talk Show. Today we're going to talk about great tips for single parents. So it's really difficult being a single parent. It's difficult being a parent at all these days. The kids have so much freedom, so many things at their fingertips that they can get a hold of. So it makes it even harder when you have to manage them by yourself. Now I know about this because I was a single parent for many, many years. I was a flight attendant trying to take care of my son, flying like day trips so I could be home, trying to balance his sports, trying to balance myself. It was a bitch, but it can be done. So for those of you out there who are stressing out about this and finding it really difficult, never ever be afraid to ask for help. I didn't have a lot of help and I really regret that I didn't push more for that because it's so difficult to, to have to be on top of everything and make sure that your child is okay as well. Because that's our biggest fear as a single parent, is our kids not getting what they deserve, whether it be in the love department, in you know just mental stimulation, all sorts of things, especially if they're not seeing the other parent. Now this happens a lot where one person walks away or there's custody issues and all sorts of hell breaks loose and the kids are sitting in the middle of all this. Now this is the part that's up to you as a single parent to try to not let happen. Your kid needs to be as balanced and as routine as they possibly can, especially when they're younger. So if you're bringing people into the mix, Say you've met somebody, you've been apart for a year or so from your ex, and you meet somebody and you bring them into the mix. You've got to have a pretty big talk about it because first of all, your children are a big priority. But if you're going to commit to somebody, you also have to listen to them as well because they might be seeing something that you're not seeing that's happening with the kids. So if you're asking them to be a part of your life and a part of your child's life, you actually have to hear what they're saying too. You also have to be strict with your children that they don't turn into these sense of entitlement children that are running around, that we all know who those people are, all those who, who all those kids are. And we don't want to sit there and have to be around somebody's children who are spoiled, who do have no discipline, and who you can tell are going to be a nightmare in their teens because they're not learning how to respect their parents. If a child talks back to you or talks down to you at all, ever, you need to nip that really quickly with your children. I can't stress that enough. They say that by the age of three, if the child's already got away with you, you're screwed because what's gonna happen is they've already learned how to manipulate and get what they want and now you've got to deprogram that out of them. So don't let it happen. Be on top of them at all times about everything. Don't penalize your ex if they want to see the child because they, should, they have every right to see the child as well if they're a good parent. And that gives you time to go out and have some fun. Try not to be too clinging with your children so that you feel that Oh, I should be with them all the time. If I'm not with them, uh, you know, what are they learning outside and all this? You have to be able to take time and trust people with your, ch with your child. It's very important that you do that. So have some rules set up. Don't let your child talk back to you. Don't let them rule the roost of the house. Listen to your partner if you have included somebody into your life with your child. But again, don't do that too quickly because the child needs time to adapt to this broken family situation. Bringing somebody else into the mix too quickly is going to totally mix them up. And they'll think this is just normal. Get over one, bring in another. And it's not normal. It's not a good thing to do to your child. They need time to grieve the loss of the family dynamic they were once in. So all these things, I know it sounds like, oh, big lecture about stuff, but really, really listen because single parenting is great. 
if you have some help, you have some, you know, if you're, if you're, say you have a daughter, you want to have some great male influence in her life too, so that she grows up knowing, you know, what men are like and how they can be nice guys and all this. And same for a son needs to see, you know, a great, great role models. They always need mentorship. They always need uh, people outside of just your, your relationship with them that they can talk to, they can confess things to because they don't have that other parent necessarily to do that with. They may have a good relationship with the ex, but maybe they don't. So never exclude um, people that can come in and give them some really cool things to learn about life as well. Anyway, I'm gonna do a whole bunch of videos on single parenting because I think it's time to to bring some more of this into uh, my playlists and everything on Dear Cyber Sue. But in the meantime, thanks so much for listening to the show and thanks for sending in your topic choices. This is why I did this one today. Appreciate you all so much. Take care and uh, leave your comments below the video. Thanks everyone.